Hey everybody, welcome to part one of core fundamentals of web development. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the tools that I'm using, shortcuts, extensions, the debug console, the text editor. I just wanna make sure you guys are right in line with what I'm doing as we make progress throughout these videos. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first things first, the text editor that I'm gonna be using for these videos is Visual Studio Code. And there's, there's lots of other options that you, you guys can look at. Feel free to use whichever one you want. Uh, Sublime, Atom, Brackets, there's lots of these different text editors. You guys feel free to play around, look for other ones, try them out. Pick whichever one is your favorite. But just so you guys know, this is what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be doing some shortcuts that are specific to VS Code, but they shouldn't slow you down. All right, so VS Code, if you're interested in, in finding it, you can find it at code.visualstudio.com. It's a free download. It's created by Microsoft. It's open source. It's a great editor. It's relatively new, but it's really been taking the developer community by storm. People are switching to video, Visual Studio Code constantly. I keep hearing new articles and, and podcasts and blog posts and videos saying how much people are loving VS Code. So that's what I'm going to use. A big benefit to Visual Studio Code, like other editors, is the ability to uh, add extensions to do very specific things, add, to add extra pieces of functionality to your editor. So let's start here. I've got, in our project, we're just gonna have three files, our app.js, app.cs, app.css, sorry, and then our index.html. So those are gonna be our three files that we're gonna work with, and we're gonna build our entire project in these three files. So let's take a look at our index.html. Usually if we wanted to create an HTML document, we could start off with an HTML tag, and then we could do our head tag, and then we'll have a body down here. Pretty boilerplate stuff. One of the big benefits, one of the things that I love most about Visual Studio Code is its inclusion of something called Emmet. Let's pull up the Emmet documentation here. So you can get to Emmet at Emmet.io. The docs are at docs.emmet.io. And basically it gives you abbreviations to write HTML and CSS uh, very quickly without having to do too much. One of the best shortcuts in Emmet is just the exclamation, the bang character. Doing an exclamation and a tab, notice it pops up Emmet abbreviation. Do a tab there and it gives you an entire HTML5 document skeleton so we don't have to type it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this. It's not gonna be document, it's gonna be link saver, which is gonna be the name of our project. And I'll save that. Now, some of the other shortcuts that you can use, if we just type in, let's say, H1 and then tab, it'll go ahead and give us an H1, and we can say this is uh, this is our header. Uh, we could also do, if we want to do, let's say, a div with a class of container, which we will do in a little bit, we could do a dot to do a, a class, and then type the name of the class and then do tab. So by default, it gives us div with a class of container. We could do an h1 with a class of header. So h1.header. We could do an unordered list with a list item child. So unordered list with a list item inside of it. We could also do an unordered list with a list item inside of it times three. So it'll give us three list items. Or we could do something crazy like 100. That'll give us 100 list items inside of this UL. So you guys don't have to memorize these right now. Uh, I definitely recommend taking a look at this in your spare time. If you haven't already, this could be super, super, super useful. I'm gonna use basic shortcuts here, things that you guys will probably pick up on pretty quick, but I recommend that you guys just practice these along the way. All right, so the next thing we wanna take a look at is extensions in Visual Studio Code. Now, you, depending on your editor, you may or may not have extensions, but a lot of the different editors do. Plugins, extensions, whatever you wanna call them. And I just want to show you, uh, let's pull up the Visual Studio Code Marketplace, and this is code, or actually, let's see, here it is, marketplace.visualstudio.com, and you can find all different extensions on here. If we're doing HTML, you could just do a search and see what pops up. But I'm going to let you guys in on a couple of secrets real quick. So a couple of the ones that I use, one is the auto close tag. So if I type in a and H1 and then do a close. It's gonna go ahead and add that close tag by default. I'm also using an auto rename tag. So if I rename this to div, it renames the first part of it. If I rename the first part, it renames the second. There's also one that's really, really simple but also really helpful. It's called open in browser. If I can find it, here it is, open in browser. And this is, if I've got a file here, I can right click on it and do an open in default browser or other browser. That that used to not be there with this feature. 
Uh, without this feature or this plugin, you would have to go to your file system, open the file directly in Chrome. Now you can just right click and open it. And the last one I want to mention is the live server extension. And this is what we're going to use throughout, or this is what I'm going to use throughout the this course. And you guys, I recommend getting this and doing it for your static web development as well. What the live server extension does is it creates a server in the background. It serves your files. And as you make changes to it and save them, it tells the browser to, browser to auto update or auto reload those files. So let's take a look. I'm going to do this and say, hello world. I'm going to close out my extensions there. So there's hello world. I'm going to right click on my file and say open with live server. And then in the browser over here, it'll pop up and it'll show our web page. Notice it's at an IP and a port address, so it's, a, it's got its own server. As I make changes to this, so hello world updated and save, notice this gets live reloaded and we see the updates. So this way we're not having to go back and forth and click just to see small changes. We just make a change, save it, and then we should be good to go. And this extension also works with CSS. So I'm gonna add a link to our CSS and we'll go in our CSS and just to test here, we'll do a body and we'll do a color or a background color, not clip, color of red, save that. And now we should see we get that update popping up in our, uh, in our browser, perfect. So that's all connected and working well. And the last thing I wanna do is add a script tag, so script, and reference the app.js, all right? And just to prove that this is working, let's do a console log in here and say hello from JavaScript. And if you're new to uh, console log and this kind of introductory way to debugging, there's lots more to it. But let's take a look at, let's save this file and let's right click on our web page and inspect. And this will pull up the Chrome developer tools. The first tab that we've got here is our elements tab where we can go through the body and we can look at the DOM elements that we've got in there. We can also make changes to them so we can get rid of this updated if we wanted to. We can also change the color here to red, something like that. So you can make live changes in this elements tab to the CSS or go ahead and edit the HTML as well. And then our console tab is where we're gonna see output from our project. So console.log over here is gonna output into the Chrome console. So notice here, if I do an updated, updated and I save here, we should get a new console log here with the updated as well. So live server is gonna auto reload for any CSS changes, any HTML changes, and any JavaScript changes, which is really, really nice, especially for doing demos like this or simple projects where you're just trying to, to build out a static, static website. This is super, super useful. So if you find it useful, try it out yourself. Otherwise, this is what I'm using. These are the tools I'm using. Uh, this is the Visual Studio Code as the editor, a couple of extensions, the Chrome console. Obviously, you can download, download Chrome for free. Hopefully this kind of keeps us all aligned as we move forward and I'll see you guys in the next video.